Good evening everyone. In this video, let's have a look. Do they think of you? Do they miss you? And do they remember you? And do they want to meet you? I have four different tarot card decks here. Number one, two, three and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person and choose your deck. Have you chosen? So let's have a look starting with our deck number one. So let's have a look. This is Golden Botticelli Tarot deck. Do they think of you? Do they miss you? Do they remember you and do they want to meet you do they think of you ten of cups well we have a family card we have a housewife we have mother we have children um, so if they marry they probably are very busy with their family and with their children and their wife so maybe they don't think of you but if you are the wife then it could mean that they are thinking about you you know your their life their daily life mm, and it might be that they really love kids so where there are kids there is you know their thoughts D do they miss you Nine of Cups so, talks about contentment, kind of. So we have, again, many people. We have uh, them being busy, eating, drinking, enjoying, that sort of thing. So I don't think they're really missing you. Let's say if you're not together right now, they might not be missing or simply not thinking as such because they are with so many people right now. But if you are with them and you're one of those people then they're content, they don't need to miss you, okay, now do they remember you, like often, do they think of you often, six of swords, well yes, well, it's a card of distance and we can see past in a way and uh, it can mean longing at times, but it can also mean that the person moved on, you know, moved on, like uh, now it's maybe they remember sometimes but it's not very intensive you know it's not it's like it feels like long long time ago like you've met long time ago or there's been a while since you met <clears throat> so maybe even your you know face you don't remember face very very well maybe it's kind of foggy their memory their remembrance you know because of time and distance. So let's see, do they want to meet you? Well, Queen of Cups. Well, they might to uh, well they they see you as a nice person, as a nice calm person, and uh, they don't mind meeting you. Yeah. It's not like desperate, but but I think yeah, they like you as a person and they wouldn't mind to meet you. Okay, this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two. Golden Universal Tarot deck, our deck number two. Question, do they think of you? Do they miss you? Do they remember you? A lot of times, like, you know... And do they want to meet you? Do they think of you? Well, with the strength card, I think they're trying not to think. They're trying to be strong and not to think about you. Yeah. Uh, maybe this topic is a little bit difficult for them for some reason. And 
they try not to think. Maybe they think it's not the right thing to think, or maybe they think they should be patient and wait, and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So I think they want to think, but they are trying not to think. There is a little bit of struggle going on. Do they miss you? Emperor. Well, I guess that uh, they're a very logical, rational person. And, uh, you know, their brain tells them that, let's say, you know, think about the people who are near you. Think about people who make sense, who are relevant at this moment. Let's see, so I'm, I'm getting they're very grounded, they, they're very strong-minded, strong-willed, and they're very focused on themselves. Let's see, their work, what they're doing. There's a very strong stability. I don't think they really miss you as such because they told themselves that they shouldn't miss you. There's a strong willpower with the strength and the emperor as well. Okay, what do they remember you? Do they think of you often? Seven of coins. I think what happened is they feel like they've done everything they had to do regarding you. And um, they kind of think they cannot do more. Like they invested what they need to invest. They said the words that they not needed to say. And they did the actions they had to do. And now... They have to just wait. They feel like they just have to wait. Um, do they remember? Maybe when it comes to work or money, they might remember you. There's another version. That maybe there's something unsolved. Something needs to be uh, sold, uh, answered. Some sort of questions answered. Some sort of money paid. Or some sort of work opportunities or some promises that were made and not fulfilled. So I think from that perspective, they might remember you. Like uh, as a person with whom business is not yet settled. Yeah, there is waiting. Like they postpone it, they don't think. They know how to manage their time very well. They know how to manage the energy very well. I think uh, they're able to be here and now. So people who are not right now in their life, they kind of put them off. You know, they'll deal with them when they are there, when they're relevant. So something like that, like logical and rational approach. Do they want to meet you? Yes, we have the Ace of Coins. Maybe meeting you will bring uh, some sort of um, usage, use for them, you know, some sort of value or some sort of like earning or payment. Maybe, um, again, I'm going to say maybe you met through work and uh, meeting you means starting a new project. Meeting you means getting some money. So it can be that, yes, they want, they want to meet you because that mean, means gain. At some point, that means some sort of new part in life. Um, something new in life, yeah? A starting that is related probably with finances, some sort of like f a little bit of a um, material gain. Okay. Looking at these cards also, it looks like they're trying to be professional. Tr try trying to be professional and do the right thing. And um, there's not a lot of emotion here in these cards, okay? Okay. Does this person have romantic feelings towards you? Yes, they do. But they probably feel these feelings when you're there, when you are nearby. And they co completely refocus when you're not there. And let's say they work or do something. Why are these feelings not shown in the spread? Ten of Swords, maybe you are not having a relationship right now. Maybe it's kind of over. Or maybe right now you're not working or not having this business. 
and that's why you don't meet and automatically there is no opportunity for you to develop these romantic feelings it can be like that okay this was our reading number two let's move on to reading number three let's have a look at our deck number three Druidcraft tarot so does this person think of you does this person miss you does this person often remember you and do they want to meet you do they think of you ten of swords uh, might say that not because it might be over you know, do you see this relationship as finished? Yes or no? I don't think they think of you right now because your relationship must be over here. Or maybe they're tired of thinking. They've thought, thought, thought and they saw there's no use of that. So it's kind of over. Um, okay, do they miss you? Look, five of pentacles. The eyes are closed. You know, I think uh, they're avoiding. They're avoiding the topic. Maybe it's too difficult to, you know, to remember, to miss you. I don't think, you know, they miss you here. Because they, they're like, I don't want to see her or him. You know, maybe your relationship was difficult, let's say, and... It's over now. And let's see, they want to move on from it. Because it reminds them of things that they don't want to remember. Maybe it's a difficult relationship, yeah? Okay. So, uh, do they remember you often? Seven of Swords. Well, I definitely think that they think of you and remember. But these memories are not very positive. They might be painful. But I think that they do overthink a lot about that. And it's like a problem, you know. When they remember, they think um, they think of it as a, some sort of trouble, problem. And they, that they don't have a solution to. What is... Um, do they want to meet you? Well, Six of Wands, yeah, they have no problems meeting you. They want... Yeah, they kind of want to meet you. And I'm getting that they might, you know, when you meet them, they want to look very good. You know, they want to impress you. And they want to show that uh, they were successful now and everything is good and, you know, that sort of thing. So they're not afraid in meeting you and they kind of do want to meet you. Uh, they were keen on meeting you for some reason, but the memories on it on itself they are very difficult, yeah, so maybe it's a relationship that didn't work out or something oh it's your ex, you know that's why the thoughts are kind of difficult and they don't want to face it, and they grab on their head when they remember you, you know that sort of thing, maybe because it was very emotionally intense relationship and they kind of exhaust the whole power of hope and waiting and all that and hope you know to improve and um, this relationship so yeah something like that we have here okay this was our reading number three let's move on to reading number four Our deck number four, Prayer of a Light Tarot deck. So, do they think of you? Do they miss you? Do they remember you often? Do they want to meet you? Do they think of you? Again, we have the Strength card. 
you know we have here You know, probable thinking, yeah, we have thinking, do, do they think of you? Yes. In this card, we don't see a struggle, actually. It's a strength card, <clears throat> and it's a kind of acceptance and some sort of patience here. So I think they do think about you, and uh, they might be thinking about words that you said to them, uh, and your messages and some sort of news and uh, thinking about <clears throat> maybe uh, the things you talked about and what they want to tell you, you know, because the bird, it represents messages and it's just on the head of this lady. Yeah, the, the, the line here is not kind of resisting anything. She's also not resisting, not trying to close or open the lion's mouth. So... Here it seems that uh, there is patience and thinking. Yeah, normal, ple ple pleasant thinking, I would say. Do they miss you? Oh, yeah. With the devil card, they cannot live without you. Yeah, it uh, can be sex, but not necessarily. It can be simply emotional attachment and not being able to live without you. Feeling codependent on each other. And um, and yes, and maybe we can see that the physical part of the relationship is what makes them miss you most. Now, what um, do they remember you often? And we have the King of Wands. Do they remember you often? Well, this card can uh, point to actually a person. So, first of all, if you're a male person, you know, they might be remembering you, yeah. And uh, especially if you're the fire person or, or you think you're a fire person or like a fire person, means very active, creative, um, ambitious, interested, always friendly, social... Um, and also attractive, athletic, you know, that sort of person. So if you're that person, this person definitely remembers you a lot. Uh, exactly your face, your figure, your body. Now, if you're a female, it can be that this person remembers you through their friend. Let's say if you are uh, know each other through a common friend, so it can be that this person remembers a friend and automatically they remember you. Just let's pull one more card. Do they remember you often? Just as yes. Do they remember you often? And uh, and yeah, maybe through that other person, through that friend, or through some business that you have, you know. So plus there is this eye here looking, as you can see. So when I see the eye, the person is watching you. Someone is watching you. Someone is thinking about you. So definitely, yes, they do remember you. Maybe you have some business as well with common, uh, with that other person and also in between you. So there's other things that are relating you also. And you remember through that. They remember you through that as well. Now, do they want to meet you? Five of Swords. Well, Five of Swords is not a very good card. It shows lots of tension and anxiety and fear, we can say. Um, like the feel is uh, threatening would be to meet you, yeah? Because it's a knight stuck uh, in, you know, in the snake. And um, lots of, like, resistance going in this card. So we can say they don't really want to meet you. Because if they are afraid. Now, what are they afraid of? Okay, here it can be, you know, um, awkward situation. It may be a rejection, relationship dynamics that um, can be awkward. You know, not knowing how to talk, not knowing 
not knowing what to say, you know. Maybe there is a little bit of um, intimidation going from you. Maybe they are a bit worried or um, excited or even anxious about meeting you because of the way you are. Although they are attracted to you and think about you, but they don't know how to approach you. And they see it as a um, dangerous situation, kind of. I literally see they don't know how to speak to you. They don't know how to speak to you. They see you very, as very different in a way. You know? So, this was our reading number four. Looks like a crush or something. A person really likes you, but they are afraid. What's advice for them? Okay, meet you when there are many people, meet you in some sort of neutral common place like a market or a cinema or some sort of shopping center and then the it will be not so awkward. Then they can easily talk to you and especially when there are other people. It can also point to the house, to family, maybe some sort of common relatives or friends or neighbors. So when they are not talking directly with you, dealing with someone else that might somehow help uh, for them to warm up what's this person's feelings towards you they don't know they are kind of being torn apart by two types of feelings you know from one side they want you but from one side they are afraid also so I think they are kind of confused. It's um, tearing them apart. Yeah, these feelings. They are totally confused about the way they feel. They cannot describe it. Okay, so this was... And basically, yeah, they're going into a halt. Because of that, they um kind of stuck in that situation. Okay, so this was our reading number four. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.